have comic books ever seen a villain this cold, yet still so smoking hot? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of DC's Killer Frost. Oh, shit! <laughs> As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions of a character's past. We've chosen to primarily follow the storyline that unfolded in 1978's Firestorm The Nuclear Man Vol. 1 No. 3, 1984's Fury of Firestorm Vol. 2 No. 21, and 2013's Justice League of America Vol. 3 No. 7.2. Cool. The water. Only the water. Aww. Three women have carried the mantle of the surprisingly terrifying villain, Killer Frost. The first was a scientist named Crystal Frost. Crystal was hopelessly infatuated with her colleague, Dr. Stein, and through no fault of Stein's, believed that he was as in love with her as she was with him. Unbeknownst to Crystal, Stein was one half of the being Firestorm, the fire-based hero born from the combination of the separate personalities of Dr. Stein and high school student, Ronnie Raymond. When Stein and Crystal were assigned to an Arctic research base to perform experiments on temperature, Crystal used it as an opportunity to get closer to Stein. When he rejected her advances, however, Crystal stormed away and, distracted, accidentally locked herself in the lab's thermofrost chamber. By the time Stein and the rest of the team discovered Crystal, it was far too late to save her from the effects of the chamber. When she was finally let out, they discovered that she'd been transformed. Crystal was now a being of icy flesh, with the power to absorb heat and project it back as cold. Angered by her rejection and how the team had treated her, she attacked her former colleagues, and the first Killer Frost was born. Before she was able to finish Stein off, however, Ronnie Raymond felt Stein's peril from across the world and activated his Firestorm power, transporting his essence across great distances Raymond combined with Stein, formed Firestorm, and fought Killer Frost. During the battle, Firestorm realized that in order for her to use her powers, Frost must absorb heat. With his nuclear power, he changed the atoms in the room around them and converted it into a new thermofrost unit. Trapping her inside it meant that Frost had no heat to absorb and thus could no longer use her powers. Crystal would return to battle Firestorm throughout the years, but her demise came in 1984, when she tried to directly absorb Firestorm's nuclear-powered heat. The fusion power within him proved to be too much for Crystal, and she was ultimately destroyed by it. In 1985, Killer Frost would return, this time as another scientist named Louise Lincoln. After attacking Firestorm, this new Killer Frost revealed that she'd been a friend of Crystal Frost, and to honor her friend's memory, she continued the work on thermodynamics that Crystal had left unfinished. Turning herself into the new Killer Frost, she swore revenge on Firestorm, holding him responsible for Crystal's fate. Over the years, Louise Lincoln continued to battle the heroes of the DC Universe. Lincoln's long-standing reign as Killer Frost would go unchallenged for many years, but in 2005, she discovered that she had cancer. She came up with a plan to trick Firestorm into manipulating the atoms in her body to destroy the cancer cells. Her scheme worked, but only temporarily, as Firestorm, realizing what he'd done, quickly reversed the process and her cancer returned, making her dangerously ill and crippling her powers. Dude, that's cold. Of course, this wasn't the last we'd see of Killer Frost. Lincoln returned again to take on Firestorm, this time employing the help of none other than the supervillain, Mr. Freeze. We never learn how she was able to cure her cancer, but it might have had something to do with Freeze, who's revealed to be Killer Frost's new lover. The pair of villains was still no match for Firestorm and his allies, however, and the two were defeated with the help of Batman, who'd been tracking the frozen couple. After their failure to kill Firestorm, Frost dumped Freeze, and it was made clear that she was only using him to help her get revenge. In 2013, after DC's new 52 reboot, Killer Frost's origin was changed, and a woman named Caitlin Snow became the modern iteration of Killer Frost. A woman with a twisted fascination with cold, Dr. Snow was a researcher for Star Labs who was sent to Arctic Lab No. 72 following the suspicious death of one of the lab's previous researchers. 
Dr. Lincoln. Snow's fascination with all things frosty motivated her to work around the clock, continuing Lincoln's research into thermodynamics. As soon as the project was completed, Snow's fellow scientists revealed themselves to be spies for the supervillain terrorist organization known as Hive, sent to steal Star Lab's technology. With her job finished, the Hive agents tried to dispose of Snow inside of her own creation, the thermodynamic ultraconductor engine. The device didn't kill Snow, however. Instead, it transformed her into Killer Frost. After brutally killing the Hive agents, Snow discovered that, despite her cold personality, she needed to feed off of heat in order to survive. As a result, she was now forced to kill in order to stay alive, by stealing the heat from other people and using it to feed herself. She returned to the civilized world and became a villain, needing to murder to stay alive, while seeking a cure to her condition at any cost. Eventually, her rampage brought her into conflict with Firestorm. Upon discovering that his nuclear power might be the key to unlocking a cure for her condition, she became obsessed with the hero and constantly fought him just so she could gather data on his powers. Killer Frost may be only one of a number of ice-powered villains in the DC universe, but her unique personality and motivations have made her a favorite villain among DC comic book fans. Mm, you're cutting into my beauty sleep, little girl. And if I don't get my eight hours, I'm a real killer. Over the years, all of Killer Frost's identities have appeared throughout DC animation and live action as she continues to gain in popularity. Are you a fan of comic book's most notorious literal ice maiden? For more chilling videos published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.